Welcome to room 1818, a one bedroom corner suite at Refu Hotel on Hamilton Island. Let's take you some old school keys. So, get ourselves into this room. And for me to turn on the lights real quick, you have to put this thing into here. Boom. It's kind of cool, it's like an all room on off switch. So once you take that out, all the lights in the room turn off. Um, so it's power, so electrical outlets do too. But once you plug it back in, everything turns back on. So welcome to this room. We're gonna go right first and check out this small half bath that is here. Sink, mirror, hello, hi, hi guys. And as you can see from the mirror, if I turn around, there is toilet number one. I'm gonna continue to turn left. You can glance at the living room for a second, but I'm gonna keep turning left. Right to the left of our entrance is the kitchen. There is a mini fridge, which is fully stocked. You do have to pay for it, none of it's free, but it's there if you wanted it. Coffee, um, those are all out. You can have those. I don't think you have to pay for coffee, but the snacks you probably do. Knives, and I haven't looked down in here yet. Sorry, let's see. They do provide you with plates, cups, all those type of things, so you're good there. I'm guessing there's going to also be... silverware. Indeed there is. Turning around, sink, all that other type of stuff, some more cabinets, and I'm going to go over this way to show you that there is a microwave in your room too. Now as you can see, opens in the living room. I'm going to go all the way around here, check out this expansive living room, small table, table for two, couch, table, chair. Now over here it looks like there should be a TV, and I think at one point there was, but they have now moved it over to this corner hanging on the wall. Let me get a little closer so you can see it. Well, lighting makes it really hard to see. There you go. TV hanging up. Before we go outside to where that bright light is at, I want to show off the bedroom. So I'm back up. Go into the bedroom, which is also a really cool room. So your bed is in the middle of the room, which isn't very often you see that. But the reason why is because you wake up looking into the Great Barrier Reef. Here is the master bedroom's private balcony view, if you want to call it that. Amazing. Turn around. There are two chairs out here with a little... I guess you call it footstools. I'd use it as a footstool. I don't know if it really is that, but I'd put my feet on the wooden, the wooden stool there and a small table. Come back in. You have to close the doors here behind you, so give me a second, as you can see. Because um, birds will fly into your room, so they, they warn you a lot of times to close the doors. Nope, someone's knocking at my door. I'm gonna pause this for a second and be right back. All right, my friend did stop by for a second, so. Trying to resume where I left off at, we were entering into the bathroom, which is pretty awesome. You're going to have to see me for a second, but that's how it is, because there's a gigantic mirror right in front of us. Bathtub. Nice stairs. I'm going to hop on these stairs real quick. Boom! Boom! <laughs> uh, it's a, just a really cool setup. So, obviously, bathtub is right in the middle. Shower is on your left, which is a pretty big shower, it looks like. And there's a nice little chair in there, too, to sit down on double sinks and as I turn around one more time sorry to whip back and forth there is a toilet it has a door on there too just so you know so if somebody wanted to use the toilet and also somebody wanted to wash their hands or brush their teeth they can do that simultaneously without it being super awkward here is a closet I have some of my stuff hung up already got my suit ready or not ready but definitely hung up for my friend's wedding there's robes in there, and this side is more closet space. Iron, ironing board is in there. Hair dryer is on top, and it's safe. A few more drawers in the closet. All right, now, oh wait, this is really cool too actually, sorry. There's a nice little thing you can sit on or whatever, just hanging out right there, it's kind of cool. Anyways, now 
the most awesome part of this room. You saw the private balcony for the master bedroom. You have not seen the main balcony. And for this part, I've just gone ahead and dubbed over the original sound. It was really windy outside when I recorded this, and there are parts where what I'm saying is completely inaudible. But here we are, two couches, nice table in the middle. It was actually really comfortable. We sat on them a couple nights. A nice dining table, if you want to call it that. And I think the next thing I do is walk towards the water. Yeah, so we're checking out the view again. And it's a pretty spectacular view. It never got old, no matter how many times I went outside and looked at it, it did not matter. It was always awesome. And I think we're gonna get a visitor here in a second. Bird's gonna fly up. Here it comes. So there's thousands of cockatoos on the island. And I'm gonna scroll up to this one right here. And those come up like that and they'll sit on your balcony or try to go into your room and eat your food. So they do all kinds of stuff. Here's a, another section of the balcony. So off the living room also. Those doors, the glass doors there on the left will completely open. I didn't know that at the time I filmed this, so that's why they're not open, but they will. And then this is my favorite part of the room. We're gonna get this little door open and there's two like beach type chairs you can hang out in but this is where it is at right here jacuzzi and a barbecue on your own balcony so what's great is the jacuzzi already has water in it and it was already hot and here i'm gonna open it real quick just to prove that there is water in it um so there you go it's probably the coolest thing i've seen in any hotel room that i've ever been in the only cooler thing would be having like an actual pool on your balcony. Um, I'm gonna turn around here and you can check out the ocean. So if you're sitting in this jacuzzi, this is your view one jacuzzi. It's I, Words can't describe it. There's nothing like being there and hanging out in the jacuzzi and looking out over the ocean. It's pretty amazing. And I'm pretty sure this part I'm just wrapping up, gonna give everyone another view of Cat's Eye Beach on Hamilton Island. Thanks for watching, have a great day and enjoy this spectacular view.